This game is called The Maze. Can you help your little friends get out alive? We're going to click the little button here. It says click here to start the game, and I'm going to give you a little overview of what the game is and how it's played. First, uh, the idea is that you have got to help your little mouse friends escape from these mazes that a professor has trapped them in. You'll have to use your brain power and your mouse moving skills to do this. I'm going to click continue button here to practice this. Basically the way it works here is you're going to have your little mouse here and you want to guide him through this maze so that he can get out safely and reach down here to the exit button. Watch out if you touch any of these balls you'll have to start over again. So I'm going to click the mouse here to begin and now basically I'll guide my little mouse through here. If I was to touch any of the walls it would bounce me back and make me try it again. So here I'm going to come down and click on top of the exit. Now we're going to click on this square to keep going. From here we get some instructions on how to answer some questions because what we're going to have to do is answer some questions that our instructor or another student has put into the PowerPoint game in order to get to the next mouse game that's obviously going to get harder each time we go. So I'm going to click continue. I'm ready to answer questions. And basically the question would appear here. There are four possible answers here. If a student was to click the wrong answer, in this case what is 2 plus 2, I'm going to select 3. It would take me here and basically I would see that, ouch, I'm going to have to try that again. And I'm going to click here to go back to that question. And then we can come here now and we're going to actually click on letter B because the B button, excuse me, because that is the correct answer. We now get this little box that says click here to keep going and that's what we'll do. The next question is what is 3 plus 3? Again the exact same thing continues. We're going to click 6 and move on to the next question. That's basically the way the game is played. After you've answered uh, enough correct questions you'll be able to then play another little mini mouse game to get the mouse out and it continues until you've successfully gotten all the mazes cleared or you've run out of questions that your instructor has put in. So I want to talk with you now about how to edit the maze game. Basically what you're going to do is open the maze game template and the first thing I advise you to do as an instructor or a student who's about to add questions to this game is to sit down and decide how many questions do you want to have. The default setup for the game is going to be about 15 or 16 but you can make it be whatever you want to. So that's what I encourage you first to do is decide how many questions you need then count and see how many questions the actual game has and see if you need to add a few more in or delete a few from the actual set. First off here I'm going to show you how we edit a question. I'm going to click on slide 7 which is the first question slide. Basically all you will do is come in here and you will delete the text where it says to place your question here and I'm going to type what is 2 plus 2 question. You'll notice it tells you that the incorrect answer A goes here so we need to make that an incorrect answer. Correct answer B goes there so I need to put the correct answer there and incorrect C and then incorrect D goes there. So after we've placed those on the board then we now can move on to our next question slide. Again this is PowerPoint so you can make these questions as big as small as you would like. Um, put in extra clip art, put in a uh, photo, anything you wanted to ask a question about and then you could put it all right here. I'm going to show you here that we would just simply continue on changing these questions up here as we go. Now one thing, if you needed to add an extra question, let's say, before, uh, right after this one, we wanted to add another question, we needed more questions, what we would do is simply right click on the slide and choose duplicate slide right click on the slide and choose duplicate slide. Now that is for Office 2007. If you were using Office 2003 version of PowerPoint or earlier, you would click on the slide, go to the insert menu and choose duplicate slide. Uh, click on the slide, go to the insert menu and choose duplicate slide. But for this purposes here, we're simply going to click duplicate slide. Now it's important that you do that instead of like right clicking and choosing copy because that will leave out very important parts of this slide that we want. So don't choose copy and paste, choose duplicate slide.
Now from then, after that, I do encourage you to move the slides around a bit. I'm going to click and drag these around a little bit so that there is no pattern to ABC following order or anything like that. You want to just make sure that you don't have like three questions that are all answer C in a row, those kind of things. So as you can see, as we scroll down here, here's a little mini game, and then here is some more questions. You'll also notice that there are some true false questions in here. Um, and these that you would do is just follow the instructions and make the entire statement true here because this is the correct answer is true and on the following slide you need to make it false because it's a false. If you don't need a true false you can delete these questions. If you want to use them later you can drag them down and move them somewhere else. If you want to use more true false just right click and choose duplicate or um, make more of them by however you want to do that there if you need more. So I'm going to scroll on down and show you. Then here comes another little mini game in here. And lastly, we keep on going like this. So again, basically what you want to do is before you start, decide how many questions you have and see if you need this many questions or if you need to delete a few before you actually get started or if you need to add a few before you get started. And that's basically how you edit the maze. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for individual student use. It is designed to be used in a one computer to one student setup. Suggested uses are to place a finished game onto a resource computer in a classroom and allow the students to play the game for enrichment or review. Alternatively, you could place a finished copy in a computer lab and place one copy of the game on each computer or on a school server. As with any of these template games, teachers are encouraged to allow students to create these games using the teacher's own curriculum. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.